Hi, my name is Victoria Cooney. This video is part of a workshop presentation about real estate investment created for SCORE Broward. If you want to attend a live event in Broward County, Florida, please follow the link below. Thank you and enjoy the video. Now, other ways to search. You have the core foreclosure, right? The Broward County foreclosure, the Miami Day uh, real estate foreclosure. These websites are the ones that you do the bidding online. You know, the, um, then you have wholesalers. Wholesalers is someone that buy, kind of like in between, right? He finds somebody that needs to sell a property, desperate. <laughs> Mm. And he said, I'm going to buy it. But in reality, this person is not buying. He's trying to find the final buyer, and he's kind of like in between. So he tells to the seller, oh, you want to sell it yesterday? OK, I give you today. They say the property is worth 100. I give you 80. You know, if you want to sell it now, I give you 80. Mm. So the person is desperate. They say, OK, I take 80. And this person, before it closes, is telling you, I sell it for 85 to you. <laughs> right? So he makes a little money, but it's a finder's fee. You know? He did the work of going, knocking on the doors, he went to sell. So he makes his fee. You know? It's not a real estate agent, it's an investor. That. Then you have the property websites, uh, auction.com. Hootsu.com, you know, you see it advertised. These uh, websites, you know, you, they sell online. The same properties you will find in like realtor.com. <coughs> they will say uh, auction.com or Hootsu. Always make sure to read their fees because they usually have a 5% fee on top of the price. So look at the, you know, look at the, the fees and disclosures, so you really know how much is going to be at the end. Hot homes, okay? Hot homes are uh, foreclosures, but they are FHA loans. So if you have an FHA loan that is with the government and they foreclose, they have their website, their system where they sell, and it's a hot home. So you can go to hothomestore.com. Now. The way the government work usually is the opposite way that everybody's doing it, right? So make sure that when you go there, they say bid starts, right? What? When the when the bid starts and they put a date, oh, bid starts, okay. right? That day is not when it starts that you can start applying. That's the day that they will open the bids because. Because it's the government, they like to do the things a little bit kind of like old fashioned. So you have to do a contract, paper, sign the blue ink, you know, uh, special things that they have. You mail it, and that big day is the day that they open the envelopes. So if you find a home that says hot case and they put a number, Go to their website, and my recommendation, even if you have an agent, is go directly with the agent of the hot homes, because they know how to use the blue ink and how to do it, you know, because they're very detailed. So you want to get it done correctly. And the best way is go with them, you know? And you tell your agent, hey, you make money on this when we send it, okay, or when we rent. But because it's very complicated. When you're buying in hot home, most of the time they will wait 15 days if you're an investor. The, the bids are open first to homeowners and then investors. Now, if you're buying, you're going to live a couple of years and then you're going to sell it. As long as it's going to be your homestead, there is no problem. Now, don't try to be a small yeah? and say, oh, I'm going to leave. And then the day I move, oops, I don't like the neighborhood. I'm going to sell. Mm. There is a fine, like a $10,000 fine, I believe. 
and say, and they check. You know, these people, they, they don't have that many cases, so they are checking. So, no. Either you buy as investor or you buy lead a couple of years while you do your remodeling and then sell it. Okay. And then we have what we call the, the real what we call the, the multiple system, right? The MLS. That's your current. That's your realtor.com, that's your Zero Trulia. Uh, you know, Zero Trulia, they have, uh, they're not update as realtor.com. In the multiple system, right, you're going to get your bank of properties, they're going to show up there. The properties, they are foreclosed. They're going to say bank of aerial, you know, you're going to find it there. You're going to find the state sales the handyman specials, TLC, investor opportunity, all those, right? So, any questions? Yes. Yes. How do you create a relationship with a bank that you will be, you know, be able to get to these uh, bank-owned properties before the rest? Well, that's like, usually they have an asset manager, but the, ma the asset manager you know, won't sell to individuals, uh, like give you these deals. They usually, they either sell portfolio, like <coughs> they pack like 20 properties in different counties and they sell the portfolio. But they don't sell, you know, let me pick this one, no. You know, and, uh, and then you have to go through books to find that person. But if they sell, they will sell portfolio. And if you have like, let's say, 10 million, something like that, you know, you can present, you know, your investors and say, we want to buy, the, you know, a portfolio of 10, 10 million or something like that. But um, yeah. they don't go like retail. Yes, sir. Can you buy one of the, you know, like the hot homes, you know, from hot homes for, uh, for uh, let's say, vacation homes? Yes. Because you're not going to live with it. I mean, right. Know. And it will be after the 15 days. They have the first 15 days is going to be for residents. And after that, you can buy, if you, you know, you're buying as a second home investment property, you can, you can buy. Yes. That's no problem. You're saying you have to live in the HUD home for a, a couple, two years, three years? Yes, you have, I mean, if you're buying and you're getting like a regular, you know, you're getting a loan and you're saying that is your private residence, you have to live, you know, a couple of years. I mean, the best thing is to live a couple of years so you don't pay uh, higher taxes, okay. right, in the resale, um, but yeah. And, you know, vacation home or investment property will be the same, will be qualified the same. Any other questions? If you have any questions or would like to have a copy of the whole presentation, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more real estate videos. Thank you. Se habla español, también falo portugués. Obrigado. Gracias. Thank you. Bye.